Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about how you should prepare your custom metahuman meshes for the metapipe. In here, as you can see, I tested my custom character inside mesh to metahuman. And as you can see, it only transferred the face part. For the other parts, for example, for the shoulders and the neck area, it automatically blends with the original metahuman mesh. So that this workflow is not for me. And also for the facial animation, we get some deformations like this. But in Metapipe, there are no deformations like this or like this. So that we are using Metapipe for this. And if you want to make a custom character for Metahuman, you have two options. One of them is create it from scratch and then transfer its topology. Well. Topology is necessary in all cases because Metapipe works with topologies and generates or transfers the rig between the same topology so that you can basically go to ZBrush, for example, and start from sphere shape, make Polymesh 3D and start sculpting like this. You can give any shape you want, but it should be in metahuman pose and also it should be humanoid. Pose is really important because Unreal Engine automatically fixes some joints according to the pose. So when you do a different pose than your metahuman, you may have some issues. By the pose, I mean this. This angle between the body and arms and these finger angles should be exactly same. Proportions can be changed, but the posing shouldn't be changed. So for example, if you have a character like this in that pose, you should make its pose to original metahuman. What I mean is like import a metahuman mesh near to it and just mask its arms, for example, and then go to your gizmo and rotate it and match that angle. You can simply look at for the parallel lines of both arms and if they look parallel to each other, you are okay with it. And again, for the other parts, it should look like parallel to each other. And for example, in here, the fingers rotations are different than the custom mesh and you should rotate them and make it parallel to each other like this. And also we are seeing three fingers on the front and for this one we are seeing two fingers. So we are not still in that posing. The posing should be same but with the proportion you can do anything you want as long as your topology can fit on that proportion and also your angles of joints should match. And when we do our posing, let's say we done it and let's say we created our custom character and let's say it's in a different topology, but all the posing are same. And then what are we going to do is just put this mesh on top of everything and then insert your material mesh. You can find this mesh inside your body DRV file that we prepared while doing our body preparation and if you didn't do it you should go back and watch the body preparation video to generate this file in this file under body rig body group body lod zero group and you should have three files one of them is your body and one of them is your flip-flops and one of them is hide it and it is called combined LOD zero mesh. So you should unhide it and hide your body and flip-flops and there you go. You have your topology. So you can export it as OBJ. After that, import it here. Just put metahuman topology on top of everything. The second line should be your custom mesh and it should look like this. And then what you should going to do is you should transfer its topology to the custom mesh. You can use different programs. You can use Blender, Wrap3D, and ZWrap. I use one of them and it doesn't matter which one you use. Just transfer the topology, it's all the same. 
and I can suggest this tutorial to you. It's very easy, just showing you how you can transfer topology between meshes. And it's very easy, as you can see, it imports meshes and just put some dots on it. Put the same dots on the other side. The logic behind it is dot zero goes to dot zero and dot one goes to dot one. And between them, it just morphs everything to this area so that we can transfer all the topology to the new mesh. So after doing it, your topology should look like this. And then you can go to the next part of our full body to separate mesh workflow, which you can find on your tutorials or you can simply go to the YouTube channel. It is called Material Wrapping Workflow from Combined Mesh. And after you watch this part, you will be able to work with Metapipe tool. Let's talk about the second option. If you just don't want to mess with this transparent topology thing, you can simply again go to your body DRV and export this mesh. And then you can simply go here and modify it from that topology without deleting anything and adding anything. You can start from this and modify it like this, for example. And then again, you can continue by exporting it to the material wrapping workflow from combined mesh tutorial. For this mesh, I did sculpt from this topology. I didn't transfer anything. I just moved everything and sculpt on the material topology so that all the angles are working for me. So the posing exactly the same and proportions are not. That's it for the custom mesh tutorial. And also I will make another tutorial on how you can transfer your textures from existing UV to metahuman UVs and work inside Unreal Engine. Thank you for your watching and for your support. Good luck with your metahumans and bye.